Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is John Hallett 168 here. Welcome back to another Clash Royale tutorial. Now, I'm doing a few of these. Be sure to tell me below if you want to see more. Um, but yeah. We're going to be doing the balloon tutorial today in uh, Clash Royale. It's, it's a strategy that I absolutely love to use. Uh, this is, as you guys saw in the last one, this is my, this is my strategy. Um, and it definitely, the balloon is like such a key part of that strategy. So we're going to go ahead and look at this replay. We're, we're, for each of these tutorials, I thought it would be really easy to just to do one replay rather than like a thousand replays. Just one replay to show you guys exactly how I do it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So it's kind of a it's it's kind of a balloon hut strategy, I guess you could say. But I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the hut strategy, hut mirror strategy a little bit uh, on its own. This is It's all going to be the same composition, but this is just different parts. So here we go. We are going to be doing... Uh, uh, so this is this is a battle I just went on and this is ex a perfect example a uh, fair fight both of us level seven um, But yeah, it's gonna be I'm just want to show you guys how I use the balloon So here we go. Basically, I like to set up a nice distraction So that's why I bring the huts along. I want to go ahead and uh, put a hut down there He put one on the his left side as well just to counter that I put mine down uh, Obviously the uh, the goblin huts are a little bit better. They're gonna put a lot more work in I was gonna throw down a balloon, but then I was like Nah, let's go ahead and put down uh, these little minions here and he's gonna throw down um, He's gonna throw down one of those zaps and uh, that is really or a lightning spell I'm not sure exactly what the difference is quite yet, um, but that is basically the key in the strategy really It's just it's just getting getting those people um, To to act to, to commit and then just throwing down balloon throwing down a balloon and taking out one of their towers as well as throwing down a free spell free spell is very important in the situation in this case, I actually missed getting these minions on the side here, but I'm going to be able to cover the tower that's shooting my balloon down, and my little minion horde behind me is really going to help out. So it's really awesome if you can get a minion horde and a balloon going for you. Let's keep going and see what happens. So I'm instantly right off the bat. It's been like 45 seconds. I already got a tower down on his side. Bang, bang. So basically, I can either try to defend for the next bit of it, or I could go for another crown tower so okay i threw down I, this is where i screwed up i threw down a uh, a tombstone on the wrong side there just to counter the hog as you see i kind of threw down a panic one with my mirror there um and he's gonna go ahead and get a tower so i obviously gotta go for the next one now this is gonna be absolutely intense because it's just gonna be us going for both of these here uh, both on the left side it's not like i got the one on the right and he got the one on my uh, on my right um or Wait, no, it's not. It's not like we got ones on different sides of each other, but it's it's just one lane that we're gonna be going down. So he loves using those barbarians. I really just don't like seeing people using the barbarians. They're just so annoying. They have so many hit points and they do so well. So he's gonna throw out some arrows. Good arrow placement. It's always really good to know. Also, I mean, as you can see from this replay, we can see what he has. Um, but during the game, you can't see what he has, and it's very important to like speculate what he has. And it's really good to know like what you're up against. So I'm gonna go throw down a balloon on the other side. It's very important to like when you get through one building, you gotta. It's it's a much shorter route by uh, throwing the balloon down over there. You don't want to be throwing the balloon down on your side and having him like try to get all the way over to the other crown tower. That just takes way too long. So this time I countered his hog super well. Um, it looks like he's got a lot of troops coming there. I'm gonna throw down my arrows just to take them all out, and that's probably gonna piss him off. That would piss me off. So uh, <laughs> there we go. Um, the uh, the tombstone his tombstone is gone I'm gonna throw another attempt down on the balloon he used his lightning spell on the other thing here comes the free spell this is where the clutchness occurs so there we go that free spell balloon combination is just so OP I love it so much um, I'm gonna be able to counter his hog and his other things and we're gonna speed things up here and yeah that's basically gonna end up the battle because it's just it's it's just too OP and if we had another 30 seconds I'm sure I would have gotten the three crowns so yeah that is a perfect example of how I like to use the balloon strategy the balloon you throw out a balloon get the freeze going throw some minions behind if you can and uh, you should be good to go be try to try to get the person to like commit to one side and then you can like surprise them on the other side um, so yeah guys that is how I use my balloon strategy if you do enjoy it did enjoy the video and maybe you use it yourself be sure to tell me below like if you used it how it went for you how it worked uh, if you have any questions I'd be sure I'd be happy to answer them in the comments below and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next time